This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell? Why? I can do anything I want to people anytime I want to. Hey, how the fuck are y'all? This is Openly Hostile Opinions. This is our second live stream. I am Jay. That is Casey. And joining us in this little box down in here is our friend Cricket. Hey, Cricket. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't think she can hear us. Can you hear us? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. We un didn't unmute ourselves. <laughs> can you hear me? Oh, there we go. Okay, we got Cricket on the line. How are you doing today? I'm just ducky. How are you guys? I'm good. I just spent the whole day with a child, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh. I wasn't with you today. <laughs> yeah, I know. I went to the carnival, and uh, I just, I'm not, I'm getting too old for the rides there. They just wore me out. Like, I almost puked on one ride, and I've never, like, puked on rides before, and I just, I am way too old. <laughs> you old fuck. How do you fuck. almost puke on a ride? I'm 32, I'm and I think my, I don't know, I think my body's just given up on me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not very physical, like fit for my age. <laughs> You're creeping up with me on the bitch tit department. Yeah, I got a little bitch tits going on. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're gonna. I guess we're gonna get into uh, this week's beer of the week, and then uh, we'll get to know our guest uh, cricket a little bit. Better. Uh, this week we are drinking um, Safe Harbor American IPA. Um, I'm not gonna switch it to the label that we usually show because I'm afraid I'm gonna mess up Skype. <laughs> so if uh there it is see it, we see it on the label there yeah, um, uh, i think it's going to be a light beer sadly we can't pass you one through the uh through the screen there cricket but hopefully you got something to enjoy yourself yeah hopefully in the future we can uh... <laughs> yeah there you go Smoke all right a cigarette we're good so let's go ahead and try this jay ding dong ding dong that ain't bad oh that's actually stronger for a blonde Whew. it's an apa was that a fidget spinner what? No, it was Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I got fidget spinners on my mind. I won one at the carnival today. <laughs> We're the alcoholic. She's she's the one drinking coffee and being responsible. Who'd have thought of that? Yeah. Um, Especially yeah, after really sleeping cool. through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we need to slow down a little bit. There's a tape delay there. Poor Cricket won't be able to get a word in edgewise. Yeah. <laughs> Don't answer them. They know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? Do we really? Uh, who is the gorgeous lady in our scope? I don't know. We do not have mouthwash on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Her name's Cricket. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and rate this beer real quick, and then uh, we'll get into things. Uh, it's actually uh, stronger than I thought it would be. It's a very light IPA. Uh, if I would rate it, I'd give it four out of five Casey's not meant to ride carnival rides anymore. <laughs> <laughs> i go four and a half. I like it a lot. Yeah, it is very good. So, uh, yeah, with that being done, uh, let's get to know our... Uh, guest here cricket so cricket uh how about you tell us a little bit about yourself where you're from uh do you do drugs no i'm just joking <laughs> we don't need to know yeah we ain't narcs we'd have to kill you yeah that's okay <laughs> but uh yeah uh you're from florida i guess that's all we pretty much know about you is you're from florida what part of florida i live in central florida in haynes city okay is that anywhere near uh winter park at all that's where i used to live Winter Park. I don't know where Winter Park is, but it's kind of close to Winter Haven. Oh, okay. Yeah, I live near uh, Disney World is in Florida, or is that land? Disney World. Dude, I can never remember which one's which. I know. I don't either. I, I'm horrible with it. Land oh, yeah. is in California. Yeah, I'm afraid to go to around, around Disney World because I look like a pedophile and I don't want to get arrested. But, look, uh, <laughs> look like? Yeah, I do, because I got like this half-man beard thing going on. I can't grow facial hair. But, uh... Yeah, so when I lived in Florida, I had a couple interesting things that I thought was funny. Was uh, they actually uh, enforced jaywalking mm -hmm. down there where I lived? Is that true around where you live? Like they enforced what? jaywalking. I don't know. I don't walk around much. <laughs> <laughs> <You> know? <laughs> 
because they were telling me the cops were telling me that so many people get hit near it because I live near Orlando's or Orlando well, yeah, Orlando where she's she's at the fucking you you get rid of your enemies with alligators part of Florida yeah yeah <laughs> I am I am actually oh okay <laughs> but I'm only thirty minutes from Orlando oh all right yeah I lived I lived right beside Orlando and another thing is I didn't know there were so many armadillos in Florida <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's armadillos all over the south. Yeah, I never knew that until I accidentally pissed on one. And, it, and I scared it, and it ran away. And I was like, holy shit. I was like, there's a fucking armadillo down here. <laughs> Would you run away if somebody pissed on you? I mean... Yeah, I don't know. People... Yeah, I don't like that bad. stuff. No judgment, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get stung by a jellyfish, so no one should pee on me. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. Yeah. So, you know what? Interesting segue. Yeah. Good job, guys. Uh, uh, last week on our video, uh, uh, Malcav posted a posted a link to uh, apparently people are taking these wasp nest things and grinding them up and putting them in their vaginas. Yes, have you heard about this, Cricket? The fuck for? To make them tighter, I guess. Apparently, yeah, you can. There's these things called oak galls that are basically uh, they're 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 wasps nest in in, in oak trees. People are grinding them up and shit and putting them in their vaginas to tighten them. <laughs> we can't make... That felt like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I know. Well, I, I thought so too, but then I figured, you know what? I hear a bunch of these fucking hippies trying to do all this stupid, dumb shit to try to take care of themselves now. So I figured I'd uh, uh, compile a list of a couple of the dumbest ones. We'll see what you guys think <laughs> about this. <laughs> this is the one that blew my fucking mind. Seriously, people do this. Number one is the bleach pregnancy test. Bleach pregnancy test? Yeah. Bleach pregnancy Bleach. test. Apparently this one, you pee in a cup and you add bleach. Mm -hmm. And if it turns fizzy, you're pregnant. Now, okay, maybe so, but urine <laughs> has ammonia in it. And what happens when we mix ammonia in bleach? Fucking mustard gas. <laughs> right. Wait, is it really? Wait, let me write this down real quick. <laughs> that might be the bleach stupidity test. <laughs> which which I'm sure is fantastic for an unborn fetus. Yes. <laughs> yes, that would go over. There has to be videos of people doing this. Oh, my God, it's all over. Apparently, a lot of people are doing this. Yes, that's awesome. Seriously, if you do this, Make sure you do it in a closed bathroom with all the windows up. Hey, keep doing it. Natural selection, man. Whatever. Get rid of the nuts. <laughs> yeah. Natural selection. Yes, exactly. You believe in natural selection should come back? I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. I also believe in public executions. That's awesome. God, we're getting along already. Do you like the Purge movies? I love the Purge movies. <laughs> do you believe they should be documentaries? Yes. Someone told me today or yesterday that I look like I would be running the purge. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I can kind of see that. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be fun. I don't know. I think we need the fucking, yeah, Darwin Awards. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Someone in chat said Darwin Awards. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah, we got to tilt this this way a little bit. I can't see shit. Oh, you can't see shit. Sorry. Uh, here's, <laughs> here's number two. Putting piss in your child's eye to treat them for pink eye. Seriously. <laughs> Do I even have to explain why this... Beaten. I'm sorry, what was that, Craig? I said those people need to be beaten, just no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do I really have to even explain why this is an awful idea? Like, <laughs> one of their websites is touting this crap, says uh, your urine, urine contains some potent antiviral and antibacterial properties and is also a great uh, disinfectant. None of that's remotely true. Yeah, but no, I have none of that is true at all in any way, shape, or form. Urine is not sterile, despite what some people believe. Even before it comes out of you and gets contaminated by your skin, there's bacteria present in urine. Don't fucking yeah. put it in your eyeball. I have a question though. Fire is right. That would actually make it worse. Yeah, I would think. And if you're peeing in your kid's eye, would that be classified as child porn? Because I see some <laughs> laws. I see. I see some laws getting infringed. Here. <laughs> And for no, anyone to ask, would be classified as child abuse, though I should, yeah, I would think, I would yeah. hope, because you're you're flashing your junk in front of a kid's face, and it's like sort of like close, like couple inches, centimeters to teabagging. Well, it's not necessarily <laughs> your own piss or uh, your piss into your child's eye. It's more you're recommending you use your child's piss in their own eye. Yes, and for people acting. I'm Sure, they're not recommending that you like have the child lay down and physically piss on them. I'm I'm hoping they want you to put it in a cup first or something. I'm, th I'm thinking an eyedropper. Yeah, an eyedropper. That sounds great. Yeah, but uh, 
one lady, I, I was looking for this shit. I did research on this crap, believe it or not, and I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm on a watch list now. Yeah, you're on several <laughs> lists now. <laughs> but uh, people are taking their children's diapers and wringing them out like a fucking bar mop yeah. <laughs> into a cup. Oh, man, that'd be great. For for people asking in chat, we're doing uh, weird home remedies for people that are asking. And this, this is just a couple of them. And we started off by, uh, I guess women are grinding up uh, wasp's nest and putting them in their vaginas to make them tighter. <laughs> okay, so the next thing on her let... Oh, and your vagina won't be loose to begin with. Right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> See, she knows. No she... wonder she likes you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, number three is ear candling. I'm probably going to get some flack from this because some people still believe this, and I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, the dumbass logic behind this one is that burning the little candle, which is really just like a, a tube of, of newspaper soaked in wax, creates a vacuum to suck uh, suck the shit out of your melon. This does not work. <laughs> if it did, you could suck, suck a golf ball through like a garden hose by burning some newspaper in the other end. Yeah, if it could do that, I'd try to have sex with it. <laughs> yeah, the, the only way to do that is with pure unadulterated whore power. Yeah, exactly. And Q-tips. I love Q-tips. i personally addicted to Q-tips. They say they're bad for you, but the Q stands for quality, so I think they care about me. Let's just put that. <laughs> well, you can be right there with the people who are using the ear candles who burn the shit out of their eardrum. Yeah, exactly. And you're right, Tony. We do all love hot wax. Candle <laughs> works. <laughs> I've never done it, so I don't know. Yeah, I I remember watching people do it or whatever like that, but I've never I've never tried it. People people swear by that shit. I know they do. Who knows? There, there's this thing popular that I'm seeing now is people are I don't know if it works or not. Uh, uh, sorry, but anyways, Lord Casey, <laughs> um, they're sleeping with onions in their socks. Have you seen that cricket? What? Why? For I don't know. They're saying the sulfur takes all the toxins and shit from the bottom of your feet and it actually makes you better or something like that, I guess. I don't know. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, that can be our new number four because yeah. what the fuck? It only works. I opened a candle store from using it. Oh, it works. I opened a candle store from using it. Hey, that guy's rich. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee enemas. We had a boss. We had a boss who did that. Oh. Coffee enemas. <laughs> yeah, we also had a boss and he drank his own piss. Same boss. Yeah. He was, yeah, see, she heard about the onions thing, too. I knew I wasn't crazy. Yeah, and the uh, number four... Uh, like camel piss. That's fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> he used to put it in the refrigerator so it would take the taste away a little bit. Yeah, he, he was really strange. <laughs> All right, so the, the next one is toothpaste on acne. Uh, people apparently do this. It does work, but it also irritates the fuck out of your skin. So, you know, if you're trying to make yourself look great for prom, it's going to be real great. Oh, I have no acne, but now I have a big fucking red blotch on my face. If someone put toothpaste on their you face. You must have really sensitive skin then. I do. <laughs> it's amazing I can get a tattoo without crying like a bitch. Yeah. Well, yes, how are your new tattoos doing, by the way? Uh, they're getting there. They're getting there. The wife's using me like a uh, human pin cushion as she practices. So. Yeah, she's getting a lot better. Like, she's doing really good with uh, the oh. shading and everything. Yeah, she I, gets she should tattoo me. She probably would. She needs she she wants to like do all sorts. She but Jay's stupid and got a tattoo on his elbow. Oh, that hurt. Oh man, he was bitching I about my elbow tattooed. On your elbow? Yeah. Well, there's well, it kind of goes. No, on mine the was right. Side. Yeah, his his right, is right the on the bone, like your little ball thing there. I don't know what it's called. I'm doing the nautical funny star bone. thing. Your funny bone, maybe I don't know. <laughs> I mean, when I got those done, they were more over the elbow bones. Yeah. But, I mean, they weren't as bad as, say, the chest. Fucking shit, the chest hurts. Yeah, that's where uh, my wife got her first one. She has this it's giant not, chest piece. Stop voting stuff as abuse. It's not abuse. <laughs> we are the abusive ones here. <laughs> Wait, who's saying? What, what's going on with the abuse? Is someone saying that we're abused? I'm so confused. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Your sound just went crazy. Oh, it did? I think Cricket can't hear us anymore. We fucked it up. We, we went good for 19 minutes without anything fucking up, so that's good. <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh-oh. I uh, can't hear you guys now. Hopefully oh, I didn't shit. hear anything. Maybe, maybe we should just uh, hang up and call her back. Yeah, can we hang up and call you back? She can't hear oh, us, fuck. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I am so hang stupid. Up, <laughs> hang up and call her back. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hang up. Uh, Just go to Chrome. How do you hang up? Close the window. <laughs> How do you hang up? I'll hang up. Okay. 
God, we're so bad at this. Okay, call her back. We are so fucking bad at this. <laughs> How would you rate the quality of this call? Shitty. It's oh. shitty. It broke. Up there. Not that. The, the video thing. Oh, the video thing. There you okay. go. Yeah, sorry, everyone. We're going to get cricket. Uh, they were going to hang up. Yes, we already did that. <laughs> Hopefully this works again because... Of... Yay, it's better. Can, right, you, hear can us? you hear us now? Yeah. Okay, good, 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 right. good. We lost you. All right, we're good. Cricket's not dead. Go ahead with the next one. <laughs> we're, oh, okay, yeah, all right. So the next one is coconut oil for acne. Apparently coconut oil is like the fucking greatest drug in the face of the planet anymore. Uh, <laughs> so so the, the, the great idea now, not only will it make you lose weight, gain muscle, babysit your children, give you a hand job. <laughs> apparently if you like take your fat paw and shove it into a jar of, of greasy ass coconut oil and rub it on your equally greasy face it's supposed to remove pimples i hate that shit that stuff's so oh, greasy man. do you use coconut no, oil at all okay because your face is like greasy and your pores are clogged all coconut oil is gonna do is clog them more right but people are believing this crap i know because i use it to masturbate i mean to dry my i mean to moisten my like my hands one time and it just oh it's so it's greasy good. Yeah, yeah it's... Casey. We all know. <laughs> Why do you think his hands are so chafed? It's because he refuses. It's because I have hard properly. water here. I hate this house. This yeah. house is trying to kill me. <laughs> it's not your water, Chief. <laughs> no, seriously, I have a coal stove and it leaked CO two one time and it almost killed me. <laughs> it scared the fuck out of me. Ugh. All right. So speaking of coconut oil, the last one on my list here before we move on is um, oil pulling. This is a thing oh, people believe great. now. This sounds great. Apparently, uh, if you take a, a big old tablespoon of coconut oil, put it in your mouth until it melts, and then swish it around, it's supposed to, you know, like, uh, not only, like, clean your teeth and give you fresher breath and shit like that, it's supposed to uh, cure everything from, like, heart disease to diabetes by pulling toxins out from, like, the spaces between your teeth, I guess? I call bullshit. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's coconut oil. It's not fucking, like... Wonder heroin. I don't know. It's like that palm juice that came out, or whatever the fuck it's called, that looks like a fat woman. I don't know the the things or whatever they are. You know what I'm talking about? I don't about. know. It's all fucking snake oil. Yeah, they were saying that stuff like cures like blindness and shit. You know what? <laughs> I, I think we have a great idea. Let's all go into business. All three of us. We'll go into a business, make our own fucking website about all this dumb shit, and we'll sell stupid products to stupid people. Yes. Yeah. That sounds, sounds like a plan. We're going to be rich. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, I'll be just like Dr. Phil. Mm -hmm. I am also fat, but I'll tell you how to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I wonder how that uh, Cash Me Outside girl's doing these days. Uh, she's yeah. probably. God, that bitch needs to be put down. I know. <laughs> I know, man. If that's our future, <laughs> I, I'm, no. just, I'm just. No. Well, her mama needs to beat her more. I know. And we were talking about that on one show that her mom showed up on Dr. Philgan in a fur coat and was like all asking for stuff like food and shit. She's a millionaire. I bet your mom's a millionaire now. They, I know they were asking for money for her parents. Oh, yeah. She's all over Instagram, YouTube videos. A lot of YouTube stars are getting her in videos. Yeah. Yeah, her, her mom's mom kissing, her. kissing her. Probably. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> That's the biggest problem is her mom has been kissing her ass instead of kicking her ass yeah, like she should have. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my child's a degenerate. Now I'm famous for it. Huh? <laughs> I know. Oh, well, America. you know, the, the best part is her dad's a cop. I bet you that was real good for his business. Yeah. Dad's a cop? Dad's yeah. a cop. Her, her dad was a cop. Somehow she turned out that way. I don't know. I'm still amazed that's the fastest sperm that won, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just, right? I, he should have been firing blanks. That would have been better for the world. Exactly. Jesus Christ, man. I just, yeah. So, did you see anything stupid that happened in the news recently you want to bring up? Oh, Jesus. Or anything like, else you want to talk about. In fact, I remember you saying you had a story for us. Yeah, why'd you miss our first stream? Let's hear it. <laughs> that was last week. That was last week. On Periscope, there was a, a girl, apparent, well, supposedly, supposedly, who was kidnapped and duct taped to a chair, and she had a timer put on her, and it was live streamed over Periscope. For like thirteen fucking hours. Holy and fuck! Was it real? Screen off at three minutes after some glass breaking sounds, and then after that, there was like another stream put up with like a bunch of blood everywhere. Oh god! And it did look like real blood, so it was probably like pig blood or something. But as it turns out, it was just a social experiment. Jesus Christ! So, so you missed us because you stayed up for like ridiculously long amounts of time watching this? <laughs> yeah. 
You're like, I not don't. not gonna lie, I was kind of figuring substances of some kind would be. Yeah, involved. we thought you just did a bunch of coke or something. <laughs> and then wake up, like we're up for two days. Straight. You're on a three day bender, and you wake up two days later, like what the hell happened? Yeah, that's what we thought happened. We were just like, what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we thought it was good. That's actually. Yeah. I felt so bad. I was like, oh, my God, they're going to hate me. Nah. We ripped you pretty hard last week. Yeah, I think we can let you – we can forgive yeah, you. I saw it, and that, I, I swallowed every bit of it because I was like, nope, I deserve it. They're saying a lot nicer things than they could have. <laughs> Casey, it's it's your, your kind of woman. She swallowed every bit of it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Uh, yes, but actually, I do not blame you at all for that because I would have watched it too. <laughs> I'd be like, this is a car crash that I don't want to watch, but I can't look away from. So I, that's a good enough reason. We thought it was coke or heroin or something. <laughs> what, the f- what the fuck is that noise? Yeah, that's a good question. You're not yeah. talking about a rim shot, are you? Yeah, do you hear that noise at all, Cricket? Every so often we get like a weird reverberation. Sound. It, it sounds like a buzzing noise or something. Oh, it's probably my notifications. You know what? I can turn them off. Oh, oh, okay. It's all right. I thought it was like a vibrator I left out on the table. I'm like looking for it. I'm like, shit. <laughs> oh, look at this thirsty motherfucker here. Hey, beautiful. Yeah, you're getting hit on pretty hardcore in here. Can you come on Can you come on every week to get us viewers? <laughs> Who's hitting on me? It's probably someone that's already my friend. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. I'm not used to Periscope chat. Like, um, with it's the, hard to follow. Yeah, it's hard to follow because it disappears so fast. I don't know if, uh, how to change that or anything, but with like YouTube, I mean, you can. That's an interesting thing I saw today. What's that? There was a, a, a chick scoping on, here on Periscope, obviously, um, <laughs> whose mother was a serial killer. Hey, yeah. Oh, shit. Captain Crunch or Life? Oh, uh, Life. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. Yeah. They're great. <laughs> I'm fucked! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Does that happen a lot on Periscope? It seems what? like... Does that happen a lot on Periscope? It sounds like a lot of people do fucked up shit on here. Dude, there's so much fucked up shit on here. But there's a lot of great shit on here, too. Like, Us? I get to watch everything from concerts to, you know, up-and-coming musicians to just crazy shit shows. Yeah. To, it, just entertainment. It's entertaining. I don't even watch TV anymore. Yeah, because I never heard about it. I'm used to Twitch. I watch, watch a lot of video games because I'm a fucking WoW nerd. nerd. Yeah. <laughs> you have no social life? Hey, I'm a WoW nerd too, okay? When I know. When, you gonna, WoW together, when are you going to start playing? Because that's what I want to do. If we get enough people around, I want to do like a live stream like on Twitch of all of us playing WoW and hanging out and ganking some Alliance because fuck the Alliance. <laughs> fuck Alliance for the whore. Yeah, exactly. It's like the fucking singer of Cannibal Corpse. Orcs yeah. and undead. It's all you need. Did you ever see that video, Cricket? No. Oh, he. F- this guy's trying to interview the singer from Cannibal Corpse about his music and stuff like that, and he just goes off in a rant about WoW, and he can't shut up about it. It's hilarious. We'll su- <laughs> we'll send you the video because he he like freaks out and it's Let's fucking. See hilarious. if I can get it and share it live right now, since we you know I don't have to fucking schedule shit anymore. Yeah, we'll share it. Um, yeah, but Alex Jones. Expansion pack and re re. Yeah. Read my account because, like, I used to have a pretty fucking OP prop pally, but, um, yeah, now I'm, like, level 90. <laughs> did you did you start playing again? Because I remember last time we talked, you said you didn't play. You had to get your yeah, alien wear out. I haven't started again yet, but I did finally dig my, my alien wear out of the box, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's cool that you tank, too, because a lot of women are known for tanking, and I think that's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all the women I've ever played with were healers, and I'm like, I'm not going to be a healer. Yeah, I was. Yeah, like, that's in Casey's life, the little. Why do I want to do that on a video game? Yeah, I was a healer Casey's for a while. Casey's the little bitch who decides to be. The, be the hey, person. I don't heal anymore. I'm a mage now. But when I did oh, heal a lot. GPS. So yeah. you just like to stand back. Yeah, mage is awesome. I love it. It makes me horny. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, when I was a healer and I was a guy, everyone called me beta bitch, beta male bitch, because I healed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you motherfuckers. You if only die. they knew how true it was. Yeah, it's like stand in that fire, stand in that fire longer, motherfucker. We'll see who gets heals. <laughs> it just uh, whatever. Want to make friends with the healers though? I That's know. Why tanky healers are always like that. I know exactly. Fuck DPS. They're they're they're, they're plebs or plebs, however the fuck you say that word. When did our show become the fucking uh, WoW channel? Because <laughs> WoW's awesome. What's that? You cut out a second. What'd you say? I said they're plebs. How are you a WoW nerd and you can't even pronounce that? Because I didn't graduate high school. <laughs> I dropped out. 
Yeah, I didn't like high school. I got in a lot of trouble. I actually, do you remember when Columbine happened? Yes. Um, yeah, there was, yeah, unfortunately, uh, there was a bunch of people talking about it and uh, I was just getting sick of hearing about it. And I was like, Hey, you know, can we stop talking about it? I'm sort of sick of hearing about it. You know, if someone's going to do it, then, you know, there's ways of doing it and everything like that. Well, some girl overheard that, told the principal, they arrested me, <laughs> closed, yeah, closed the blinds because they thought I had people in the woods trying to snipe them. It was God awful. I was a horrible kid. Horrible kid. I almost got burned at the stake when I was in high school, so I can sympathize. You almost killed someone with a stake? What burned you... at the stake, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> you remember the movie The Craft? Yes. Yes, I do. When that movie first came out, I was already unpopular. I got barked at walking down the halls for being ugly. I got made fun of. I got called a witch, everything else. But when The Craft came out, holy shit, it blew the fuck up like they tried to mob me outside the school one day and tried to fucking tie me to a stick and the president or president the principal stopped them jesus christ man was this still in florida what are you guys doing down there no, no, that was in texas that was in texas okay that makes sense then <laughs> yeah. it was it was like some small town in fucking texas it was terrible yeah this guy's pissed he wants to know who called you ugly <laughs> Jimmy, I'm one of those like ugly ducklings. Like I was not cute as a kid. <laughs> I'm not cute now, so that works out. Yeah, see, I was the opposite. I was this cute little <laughs> blonde-haired kid. I sort of looked like a kid from the Village of the Damned. I know. I've seen <laughs> pictures of you as a kid. What the fuck happened? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I was a cute kid, and I just grew. I grew this tumor on my face. You know, and then <laughs> your I just, nose. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I would consider cyanide very bangable. God, these people are thirsty. Yeah, they are thirsty. I I'm bangable. He's one of my friends, too. I figured. Hey, well, your friends need to fucking follow us. Come on, guys. <laughs> we love you. Why are you guys following them? I told you guys to come in here and follow them. No, they probably are. I just have no idea how to use this. <laughs> like, <laughs> we just... only have five followers. We're still working on it. Yeah. Like, we do have more viewers, though. I'm saying you brought in a lot of viewers. I think last time we had no more than five, but now we have 30-something. We're getting a lot of hearts and everything like that, so that's good. We do you were... think if I show cleavage, we might uh, do better? Uh, I'm not going to do better because I will vomit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge bitch. What? <laughs> Jay, Jay was going to try to show boob, cleav like boob cleavage, but I don't want him to because I don't want to vomit. <laughs> well, boobs bring the viewers, man. That's why I don't wear low-cut stuff because I'm like, I'm not going to be known for that. Mm -mm. Yeah, I know. Like, I watch Twitch a lot, and there's these female gamers with, like, fucking boobs the size of Mount Rushmore, and they're like, oh, video games, I'm so cute, and I just want to fucking cut their fucking heads off. <laughs> Read. I'm built like an anime character, so I don't go on Twitch. <laughs> oh, Do you watch anime? <clears throat> no, I don't. I don't either. Actually, I went to a convention, and I'll tell you, Asians know how to party. They do. Asians are wild. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know this one girl, and like she was talking about how she liked the textures of penises, and it was like really creepy. Because every girl I know says penises are ugly, and she actually liked them. And I felt like she was the kind of girl that smelled them before she like put them in her, and it was really weird. <laughs> Asian women are fucking nuts. Like they're, they're freaking crazy. I know you've seen two girls, one cup. Oh my god! I, I every time I watch it, I put my hand in the Bible. I love it. <laughs> that that when that came out, I was so amazed, and I showed everyone it just to see if they'd puke or not. <laughs> and our friend Brooks, he almost did puke. Not. I mean, it's gross, but yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't care. I thought it was hilarious. I was already numb from the internet. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I know. Because I was used to it. I was like, whatever. <laughs> you know, you want to fucking eat shit, eat shit, whatever. Right? Like, it's gross, but but you do you. I know. And everyone was like, it was fake. It was fake. I was like, I don't know, man. That was a pretty good looking butthole. Like, <laughs> like when they showed it come right out, I was like. Kind of had like a, that that, that uh, Wendy's Frosty kind of thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy thinks I look like Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> yeah, we got a, we got our Paul Rubens right back there. <laughs> I sort of do look like Pee Wee Herman. I never thought of that that way. I get a lot of Sheldon <laughs> from Big Bang Theory. Dude, I love Sheldon. Sheldon's I, awesome. You don't look. I mean, <laughs> it's not really it's not really a bad thing if I don't look like Sheldon. He's sort of <laughs> weird looking. Yeah, Jim <laughs> Parsons a little bit on the odd side. Yeah, I get that. I get Steve from Blues Clues, and I get Steve Carell, but I don't know. <laughs> Dude from Blue's Clues. I know, don't he I? Does. I do. And there's someone else I can't remember who they say I look like, but oh shit, I I completely forget. I think it's some other kid's station or something like that, but it's uh Oh no, it's uh Ethan Ombre. Who's that fucking dude? Oh, from um 
Ah, oh, shit. He was from Can't Hardly Wait. Do you remember that annoying teen movie with Jennifer Love Hewitt? <laughs> I look like Grizzly Adams. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. <laughs> Um, he was also in, uh, what's that thing where uh, these people own a record store and this uh, popular singer's coming and Liv Tyler's in it. She wants... Yeah, he's the weird orange-haired guy in it. <laughs> Isn't his name Ethan Ombre? I don't know. He's the orange-haired... Oh, yeah. yeah, I could see that. I yeah. could see that. That's he what... was like one of my favorite characters in that movie. Yeah, yeah, I think that's his name. Isn't it Ethan Ombre? I don't know what his name is. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan Ombre sounds like a mortar in a burrito, so I don't know if that's his name Ethan or not. Ethan Ombre. <laughs> yeah. I'll have the huevos rancheros and the Ethan Ombre. <laughs> yeah, I have no fucking clue. So, I, yeah. I get told I look like all kinds of people, but what I get the most lately is Feruza Belk, the chick from The Craft and Waterboy. Oh, yeah. Waterboy. You know, I got a question. Is your hair real? <laughs> that shit does not look real. Why? I know. She's like, you motherfucker. About <laughs> Shit, I accidentally played a video, sorry. A massive... <laughs> that, sorry, I accidentally played a video. My that fault. hair is just too fucking perfect. Like, the lines are all straight and shit. I keep looking at it, I'm like, should I ask her? There's no <laughs> secrets on this show. Yeah, there's no yeah, secrets. It's real. <laughs> do you do it yourself, or do you have to go to a yeah, stylist? I do it myself. Oh, you okay. fucking dye those lines and shit in there yourself? Yeah, it's like... It's layered. The lines oh, just... oh, oh, okay. The lines just sort of happen. Dead. Oh, okay. And the top is black. <laughs> okay. So the, the lines just come from my hair being parted weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Jay's like, is your hair real? <laughs> the tattoos aren't real? No, the tits. <laughs> oh, the tits. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Because I want to know how painful tit surgery is. Is it painful? Yes, I, I am serious. Yeah, it was... It was painful. It wasn't too bad, though. Like, I mean, come on, I'm fucking tattooed all over. Yeah. I'm sure it didn't fucking tickle. No, because I used to yeah, see those. It fucking tickle. That's yeah. true. It wasn't that bad, though, and it was totally fucking worth it. I didn't give a shit how bad it hurt. <laughs> Damn, you make me want to get fake boobs. <laughs> You'd never leave the house. Oh, dude, I know, man. I fucking know. I oh, Jesus Christ, don't even get. <laughs> That wouldn't get me started, dude. I could, I would just the whole first day. I would just see what warm liquids feel good on it, <laughs> <laughs> like, like warmed up pudding, mayonnaise, fucking <laughs> coconut oil. Like, hey boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> coconut oil, toothpaste. We were talking wasp nest. <laughs> you can just take my approach. Just uh, eat a lot of cheeseburgers and drink beer, and you'll get plenty of bitch tits. Yeah, I know. And I was at the carnival, so I had some really shitty food there. So hopefully, you know, I'm fucking getting some getting some titties. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're not all gay here, but we me and Jay act gay a lot. <laughs> we we play gay on TV. <laughs> What's that? I said, jiggle them things again, Casey. Yeah, see, <laughs> I have a little jiggle going on, man. I wear I wear a lot of black so it hides the rules. <laughs> I, I, I didn't I didn't catch who said it, so sorry. But uh, somebody put on there that a dude uh, lost a bet and got tit surgery. Yeah, that's true. The funny part is after the year that he he had them for the for the bet, he decided you know what, kind of like them, keeping them. Really? <laughs> He's like, well, these things are kind of fun. I think I'll keep them around. That's yeah, exactly. Could you imagine having a penis? Do you think that would be weird? Dude, it'd be great. Really? Love it. I think they're annoying. Especially when it's hot out and they, like, stick to your leg. Oh, it drives me nuts. Well, we're not really considering boob sweat. Right. Oh, you probably get, yeah, boob sweat. See, and that's the thing. I don't know if I'd want boobs because of the boob sweat. Like, I would, like, hide stuff in there and it'd slip out. <laughs> oh, I, ca I carry shit in my bra all the time. <laughs> I think all women do that. Yeah, see, and I'm surprised about that. Like, I'm surprised that they don't make a lot of bras with pockets. <laughs> they should. Like, you know those little t-shirts with the pocket over the boob? They should put them in bras. You can't do that because then, like, the just the stitching from the pockets would, like, we leave a weird outline. Like, oh, that's true. Like, we hide true. shit in, like, the areas where you're not really going to see it. I know, and that's the <laughs> thing. Like, I seen fucking... I was at the grocery... Your money in there. Yeah, I seen this fucking uh, girl at the grocery store, and she lost her kid. She's like, oh, I forgot I put them in my bra. I was like, where'd you put that thing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I'll be I'll be taking my clothes off at the end of the day or take a shower or whatever, and like some shit will fall out, and I'm like, oh, that's where that went. I thought you were gonna say like your daughter just falls out once in a while. I was, yeah, I was. That's where I thought you were going. I was like, oh, she does put her daughter in her bra, and that's right. You do have a daughter, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Now I, I don't carry her around like a kangaroo. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what we thought. We were just making sure. We were just making sure. Did but you I ever see that video of that dude who punched the kangaroo? 
Oh, yeah. No, but now all I can think of is, like, fucking kangaroos. Yeah, I saw that on your Skype. Video? Yeah, well, where, where is that from? Why Why are all of a sudden on uh, Skype you said, fuck kangaroos? Did, like, one rob you lately, or...? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, there's a, there's a video. It's called The End of the World, and they're like, WTF, mate. And then the other guy says something else, and he's like, fucking kangaroos at the very oh, okay. end. And, like, he's like, fires and missiles. And the other guy's like, but I am not tired. And he's we... like, well, then have a nap. Then fires and missiles. You've oh. never seen that? No. I did see oh, the okay. one where it's that whale talking to that duck, and they're eating potato chips. Did you ever see that one? No. <laughs> he's like, he's like, hey, boo. And he's like, hey, boo. <laughs> I'll have to send that to you. It's great. okay then. <laughs> Jay's like you fucking freaks. <laughs> Somebody just said we need a logo for the live stream. I I don't know. What do you know what that means, Cricket? Yeah, do, do, do enlighten us. He, the, this you're guy the Periscope says, veteran. He says that we need a logo for our stream. Do you know what he is talking about? Oh, he probably means that you guys should put your little logo like up in the corner or something with your OBS. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Oh, okay. I thought I thought it being on my computer was enough. It was me, Jimmy. Okay, thanks, Jimmy. God bless you. Jimmy, Jimmy actually runs. Well, he's he's on a show kind of like you guys with uh, Bobby McNasty. Oh yeah. Their show is pretty cool too. Yeah, I was on there. When was it, Jimmy? Night before last, last night. Bobby McNasty. That is the best name, and it should be the name of a hamburger. <laughs> you, guys would love it. you guys would love it. They're so much like you. Oh, uh, we should definitely check that out. Yeah, Jimmy, send us a link or uh, send Cricket a send link. It. And have Cricket send it to us, and we'll definitely check yeah, it out. We're fucking dumb as shit, and we can't figure out this Periscope Sunday thing. night. What time Sunday night? Are you just randomly? Or is it around a time? Because we're finding we're on streaming. You can't really pick a time. It's just mostly. Eight. All right. Well, what, Jimmy Nap. <laughs> All right. I do love Sunday that. nights at 11 p.m. I'm in fucking bed because I'm an old man by then. But I, don't I can sleep, always watch so it later. I don't sleep, so I'll be watching it because I play too many video games. Go follow yeah, me and it, check me out in the replay. Uh, yeah, right, I'll well, check it out. You sound like our kind I of people. I sleep when it's inconvenient. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Evelyn, Evelyn P. Yeah, that's fine. I have kids who wake me up at six in the fucking morning. I don't have a choice. Yeah. Oh, gee. And that's the thing, being around a kid all day, it like fucking wore me out, man. It's because you're old, lazy, and fat. I know, but they're all over the place, and I'm already like mentally insane. So like, my mind's already over the place, and like, I'm looking for her. I can't find her. One second she's here, next thing you know, she's like, I don't know, making a fucking nuclear weapon in the corner it's like you can't take your eye off of them it's crazy how old is that kid 10 oh she's the same age as my daughter then oh really yeah i know yeah. i know it's very strange they let me around kids but they do <laughs> i let this creepy bastard babysit yeah, my children their best decision ever was it what's that i said that wasn't their best decision ever was no it, it wasn't i actually make a great babysitter because i'm a kid myself so like i don't know he has trouble with no though yeah, exactly. I spoil I spoil the shit out of the kids, and they sort of go back to the parents all hyped up on, you know, cocaine. I mean, chocolate and sugar and all sorts of shit, and it, like, really drives the parents crazy. And I think that's why Jay doesn't ask me to babysit anymore. <laughs> well, I mean... Shut the first up. Yeah. Apparently, we talk too much. Shut, shut the first up. Bro, do you even English? You can't even spell. How are you going to tell anyone to shut up? <laughs> Well, the problem is we're used to only it being the two of us, and there's a little bit of a delay with the Skype, so we kind of, like, try to fill time and shouldn't. Yeah. Actually, that... No. The... You can't listen to the trolls, man. Like, I, I know. give you guys, like, troll bashing lessons, because, number one, it's fun, and number two, mm. it just makes the trolls look stupid when they're trying to make you look stupid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know, and that's the thing. Like, we're, we're surprised we actually don't get more trolls than we have. Like, we've got a couple... Uh, that and Jay got in an argument with a guy about Danzig. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker didn't know what I had going on. Yeah, like this guy was really pissed about our last video because we were talking about how uh, <laughs> Danzig needs to pack it in. Yeah, Danzig can't sing, and this guy Dude, was pissed. Yeah, he's 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 done. He's done. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, the fact is, I I, I love the man. I, I mean, look, I got the fucking Misfits logo inked in blood <laughs> on yeah. my fucking shoulder. I love the man, but he needs to stop. Yeah. Go go to the go to the evil retirement home. <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. You know, I almost dated a dude that was a bassist for Danzig at one point. Was oh yeah, which one? Was it Jerry only? Jerry Monta, whatever the fuck his name is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was okay. a short-lived one. Kind of psycho. Not gonna lie. Like I hung out with him like twice, and he like started talking to my cat, talking about I'm gonna take your mommy to California. Blah 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 blah. And so I stopped Whoa. hanging out with him. Cause, Hi, psycho. And 
he he was like texting my phone constantly, leaving constant voicemails, and like I had to change my number because the last voicemail he left that I heard said, "If you loved me, you would call me back." And I'm like, "Fool! I just met you. What are you talking about, love?" <laughs> You're gonna end up on a milk carton one of these days. Exactly. I was like, "Nah, I got my number changed." Nah. <laughs> So pretty. That was the most street thing I've ever heard. Nah. <laughs> nah. You go Lord today. <laughs> and by the way, thank you, chat, for, you know, give, giving that troll a fucking piece of your mind. I love your yeah. viewers, Cricket. Like, they're all sticking up for us and shit. They're fucking awesome. And they're used to, in my room, mm -hmm. trolls don't really get blocked when I broadcast yeah. unless they fuck with my friends. Uh -huh. They can fuck with me all day long. I can take it. No big deal. Mm -hmm. But when they start talking shit to my friends, they're fucking gone. So immediately when a troll starts uh -huh. in on me, my friends are like, oh, motherfucker, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. They were like basically telling them to go fuck himself. Thank you, chat. You're yeah. awesome. We love you. Long time. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> nah, we, 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 we don't give a fuck about that shit. That don't bother us any. You know, you don't like what we do. Hey, 10 other channels you can go watch right now. Yeah, and like I said, I thought we would get more. There's an X right up there. <laughs> yeah. They it if they don't like it. Right. Oh, wait, it's the other side. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do that shit all the time. We, we're fucking used to that. Whatever. She's very loyal. That's what the root said. That's good. I and this bitch right here. She's the shit. That actually reminded me of something I wanted to show you guys. Um, Cricket, are you watching us on um, Periscope at all? Can you see us at all I through that? Okay. There's this image I wanted to show. And it's pretty funny because there's different laws in different countries about advertising and everything like that. And I wanted to show you guys this because uh, over in Israel, they they can't show certain amounts of skin and everything yeah. like that. And I wanted to show this. Um, oh, shit. I just fucked it up. I told you <laughs> not to do that. <laughs> Never mind. Ooh. I fucked it up. Never mind. I can't do it. We didn't figure it out yet. <laughs> I, I told you not to show pictures. It would Hold break on. shit. Actually, I can do this. Give me one second. Casey. I know. I've, like, this is why I don't have kids. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna take you off Skype. Well, they're not going to see you, but... What, we'll still be able to hear you. Yeah. I wanted to show this picture real quick to people watching. This there street. you go. Ah, oh, shit. The fucking thing's in the way. Who cares? They can see it. <laughs> um, so, basically... Oh if you look at this advertisement here, <laughs> you can see that, you know, there's the kid, there's the wife and everything like that. But in the Israel thing over there, they shirt all the kids and everything, and they just didn't know how to shirt the woman, so they replaced her with a beach ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so is that what's behind her little window there? A yeah, beach if ball? you can see it, because we can't move the window or whatever like that. But they just didn't know how to clothe the woman, so they put a beach ball over her. <laughs> I thought that. I thought that was fucking great for some reason. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Who sits around in their swimming pool in t-shirts? I know, exactly. Me, because I'm fat and no one wants to see that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Fuck it. Let your moobs hang out. Exactly. Hey! <laughs> I'm about to get fake ones. Sorry, folks. You're all dead now. Yeah. Appreciate it. I'm about to get fake ones. I really think Cricket talked me yeah. into it. Because <laughs> yeah, like, I just want them for like when I'm eating pretzels, I can hold the peanut butter in between them and dip it in. Because <laughs> I'm a lazy piece of shit. You guys are now on Periscope. What's that? If you see someone say "open," mm -hmm. insert word here like "open moves." Yeah, they want to show. Oh, okay. oh, okay. All right. Woo! There's a, there's a Jesus Christ! Thing. Jay sold his soul. <laughs> <laughs> yes, open moves. <laughs> so so bad. Yes, open bobs means open boobs. Open bobs. That sounds like a name of a like cheap beer, Bob beer. I notice everybody shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's really great though is shortly after I got on Periscope and started, you know, enjoying this app because it's fucking addictive. It's like crack, dude. I'm not <laughs> kidding. But uh, I was at the car show and the car show. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Your stream just caught up. <laughs> I'm here every uh, Saturday there's a classic car show but there's also like a little amusement park mm -hmm. and I'm on Periscope right and I turn around and I see this ride with these big lit up letters that said flying bobs I about lost my mind <laughs> I just scared the shit out of everybody in the yeah uh, people are in, uh, this is now an NC-17 stream <laughs> yeah they, they always end up that way <laughs> yeah 
And you said that Alex Jones is on here a, a lot, right? Because we love Alex Jones. <laughs> yes, they're putting drugs in the water. Make I the don't frogs like gay. putting chemicals in the water <laughs> that turn the friggin' frogs gay. We here love Alex Jones. We love making fun of him. We think he's oh, hilarious. Hilarious. Dude, Dude, do you understand that? Out of his fucking mind, and it's so funny. I know. Male it's vitality. Not funny. <laughs> yes, yes, that's the stuff. Yes. It's not funny. Uh oh, hey. They think Jay has the biggest tits they've seen on Skull. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's an accomplishment or. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jay's selling his soul. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, everybody can hear our sound effects. Can you guys hear the sound effects? Yeah, they should be I... able to. Can you hear the sound effects, Cricket? No, I can't, but I have the sound on the actual periscope turned all the way down so you don't get that crazy. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's probably what it is. Yeah. We were still getting used yeah, to that. Yeah, I'm playing sound effects and shit. <laughs> they can hear them. That's all that matters. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Uh, can you hear that? Cricket. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was weak. Give it like a five. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we had that cricket sound actually before we even knew you, Cricket. We just, just <laughs> It just fits. <laughs> actually, how'd you get that name? Yeah, that, that's got to be a story. You would think that it would be an entertaining story, but the fact of it is, when I was in fifth grade, my friends and I were all high jumping on a trampoline, and one guy goes, we need nicknames, man. <laughs> everybody started giving out everybody's nicknames, and I got Cricket. Hey, there you go. Can we go back to where she said she was high in fifth grade? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, because that never happens. I think I was still, like, drinking toilet bowl water that age. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Texas is crazy. <laughs> How long did you live uh, in Texas for? Um, Pretty much all my life until I joined the Army. Oh, okay. Were you forced to be a Cowboys fan? Fuck no. Fuck the Cowgirls. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the cackle. Because when I flew into Texas to go to California, when I flew in to, I forget what airport it was, but all I could see was Dallas Cowboy stars on, like, everyone's roofs. And it was like, it's like a cult down here. Dude, football and Texas are synonymous. If you don't like football, which I really could give a shit less about football, but I do like the Packers. Uh, if you don't like football in Texas, like, you better not tell anybody. <laughs> Hi. Hi, cunt man. Cunt man says hi, guys. Oh, sweet. Hi, cunt man. Great name, by the way. I'm trying oh, to... Oh, where's my bestie? My bestie, Captain Mike Cunt, isn't here. <laughs> oh, really? I'm so glad... That you... motherfucker. <laughs> I'm so glad your friends use the word cunt, because I'm trying to, like, be like Australia, where we say it all the time. But... You bloody cunts! <laughs> yeah, and twat. I love the word twat. Just the way it rolls off your tongue, I love it. But it's just American people hate that word for some reason, and I don't know why. Because they're all a bunch of fucking pussies. Yeah, I know, and I just don't get it. Cunt. You can say fuck all you want, but if you say cunt, I'm going to be offended. Yeah, everybody's a bunch of pussies. Can we talk about eating pussy? Absolutely. <laughs> hey, somebody likes my Alf doll. Hi, Belinda. We like, I like my Alf doll, too. I know. Alf's the shit. <laughs> Alf is awesome. Yeah. I guess the guy that Alf just... Thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I actually... Um, if you can see it here. I was talking about the carnival. I won a Finn doll. <laughs> and I am so horny for it. <laughs> it is oh so. God. What's that? I said, oh my god. Yeah. Did you ever watch Adventure Time? I'm a giant kid. <laughs> yeah, that's what does right all's, now. Yeah. All I do is watch Cartoon Network all the time. Because well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm a fucking brony. Oh, god. are you really? Oh, really? geez. What is, is there? Okay, is that no, a real like thing? You, you can come over to my house and fuck my sister. Holy shit, you do. <laughs> Is that a real and thing, it, though? Is there like with my Beatles lyrics? How fucked up is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jay likes the Beatles. I really don't. I do. <laughs> you fucking blasphemer. I know. I do. But I also, um, I also won this fucking really creepy teddy bear that took me about thirty dollars. <laughs> At a oh, yeah, it's a gay pride bear. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I got it. So people think. Thank you for that, Craig. Thank you. You just made our day. Them. That's awesome. I want that bear. I know. I spent like 30 bucks on it because I was so pissed at that machine. I Whoa, gonna... this shit. I got to say, though, this just got weird. I'll start to lick it from behind while my tongue is in the girl's pussy. My nose will be rubbing up against her ass. What just happened to the chat? <laughs> <I know. laughs> that man is a pro-level troll. He derailed you. That's what he wanted. Wow. <laughs> 
You did a good job. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, how do we get on adventure time to eating ass? But we can talk about eating ass. <laughs> like, that's fine. We need some applause for that, I think. Yeah, let, let me let me put that in there. <laughs> Welcome to Paris. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's wow! Funny. I'm glad you told us about this periscope because it looks like we fit in here. <laughs> we do. Like it does. That's why I told you guys. That's why I gave you so much shit about it. I was like, you guys need to be on periscope. <laughs> oh no, we were scared shitless. Like we don't want people watching us live. Like yeah, somebody, <laughs> somebody a while back said uh, on here, we have so much equipment for so few viewers. <laughs> yeah, I know. So true. I it? know it is. It is. Like we've been doing this what fucking half a year maybe. <laughs> and we just yeah i think maybe i don't know half a year and we just been posting stuff on uh youtube and uh we do an audio podcast like we do this all on audio and everything like that on uh, uh google play itunes and all that shit but we just started live streaming last week because of cricket here and um your bitch kind of made us yeah she did. <laughs> yeah we got to give you, you credit cricket like you've you've got us more viewers and everything that we can't thank you enough for that these guys are like bizarro jimmy and bobby yeah. Is that a good thing? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, is that a good thing? <laughs> we we good we we. Really sorry, didn't mean to bother you. I mean, yeah, apologetic trolls are best trolls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the some... funny trolls are the best ones. Oh yeah, well hell, that whole thing was uh, pretty entertaining. I gotta say, I know. Yeah, I feel like he was he was looking at some like romance book or something and just typing out what it said. Oh, like I, um, Fifty I, Shades of Grey or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. I've never read that, but freaking Anne Rice wrote one that's called The Claiming of Sleeping Beauty that's all kinds of fucking weird. I've Wait, heard of that. Is that about, like, a sleep creep? Like, what's going on with that? <laughs> well, let's be... Like, it, it's as BDSM as BDSM gets, dude. <laughs> well, let's oh. face facts. Uh, uh, pretty much Sleeping Beauty itself is a pretty pretty well sleep creep. Hey, dead chick in the woods. You know what? Go make out with that. <laughs> that's true. I never thought of it that way. I never thought of it that way. You know, in the original story, uh, Prince Charming didn't exactly kiss her to wake her from the spell. He fucked her until she had children while still under the spell. Are you fucking serious? Yep. <laughs> like that. You should look up all the shit that Disney censored out of these stories. Can we, can, all, the, all the original Disney movies are fucking twisted when you read the real stories or the, right. the original stories, I should say. Quick question: Is this spell still exist today? And if so... <laughs> yes, it's called date rape. Oh, okay. How much mana does it cost? <laughs> <laughs> Jay's like, you fucking nerds. <laughs> Jay's like, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it had, dude, everything yeah, costs mana. Check no what? what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't, I, I'm wondering that one myself. That's a new one. So wait, I'm confused here. I never heard about that before. So there's actually original Disney stories that Disney wrote. And no, they... no, 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 no. These are all well, like Disney fucking. Did not write them. No. <laughs> oh. Disney pe... raped the shit out of all sorts of fairy tales yeah. that existed long before them. Oh, so they stole them. Right. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Like, what is it? Pinocchio, Snow White, yeah. Cinderella, Just Sleeping could... Beauty. Just go get the Grimm's fairy tale book and read it for a while. Yeah, dude. actually, up. the Snow White thing, I think I do remember reading something about that because the seven dwarves, like, raped her or something, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's interesting parts. <laughs> Jesus, I guess coal mining makes you a rapist. I don't know, whatever. Oh, they mine diamonds. That's they it. took out all the good parts. Yeah, what about what they did to fucking Pocahontas? Yeah, she was 14. I forgot about that. She was underage, too. Who was? Uh, Sleeping Beauty. Jesus Christ, man. Disney, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Still ain't seen a threesome scope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never, I never even heard of that. Pocahontas. Did they poke a heart in her ass? <laughs> well, no. I mean, I'm just saying, there's no historical value to that at all. Oh, of course not. The story's not even like close to what <laughs> happened. <laughs> no. Nah, Before you guys live stream next week, you've got to turn your moderation off. Oh, there's moderation. See, that's yeah. that's why we need you here because uh, <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck or why that's on. <laughs> we have no I idea. I haven't even had Periscope two months. <laughs> oh, really? Well, compared to us, you're a fucking expert. Yeah, because I have no idea what the fuck's going on. And that's I'm probably just... Fast. Yeah, we'll we'll turn that off. Well, what's it preventing? Is it preventing people, like, linking links or saying fuck? No, no, you can leave links mm -hmm. um, in Periscope chats, but it just, like, it it will make the the chatters moderate, like, certain words, like, mm -hmm. little trigger words, I guess you'd say. Oh, and um, they have to vote 
either it's abuse or looks okay or not sure. And when people get limited as abuse, um, it limits them from typing at all for a certain amount of time. So it's really fucking shitty. Oh, and that's... Something, something like this you don't really want people to be able to moderate. Yeah, that's lame as fuck. We're sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. No. <laughs> yeah, I see them. They're yeah. they're putting spaces in between words so they can say it. But I still had to vote whether or not that looked okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll definitely. So everyone, I, I vote it looks okay on everything. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, we didn't even know that was a thing. We we had no fucking idea. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> I think yeah, we. Get... Yeah, chicken. Someone's just randomly saying chicken nuggets. Now I'm hungry for some fucking chicken nuggets. Yeah, thanks, Yeedy. It's Taco <laughs> Tuesday, man. You have tacos. Yeah, when I was at that, we were. Uh, do you have Dave and Buster's where you live at all? Uh, yeah, I think there's Dave and Buster's here. Yeah, there was Dave one. Buster's is fun. Yeah, there's. It's called Hoopla's there or something like that. And we were at the restaurant and they serve beer and stuff. And this kid came up to me and he goes, "It's Taco Tuesday," but last time I ate when I puked and he just walked away. I was like, <laughs> I was like, that kid just crawled out one of the. Yeah, I was like, did he crawl out of a vending machine? Like, where in the fuck was he? He, like, snuck up on me. <laughs> I had no fucking clue. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But actually, holy fuck, that went quick. I think it's about time. We we, we spent an hour already. Holy shit, I didn't even notice that. Wait, Appa- that was fast. Yeah, holy fuck. Well, apparently, we can only do the uh, turn turn off the moderation from our app. Ah, oh, shit. shit. <laughs> I can't hear anyone. Can you hear Someone us? just told me they'd like to cover my glasses with their cream. Thank you. <laughs> is that is that cunt man? No, I don't know. No, it's, it's someone named John. Just a just a random. That's awesome. That Hi, was... John. Thanks, John. I'm gonna masturbate that uh, to that tonight. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just got weird. Yeah, that into the sight of Jason's man tits. I've seen twice today. Jay, I, I I'm Jay. <laughs> what I call you? Jason. <laughs> oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> How long have we been friends? Asshole? I don't know. I was in a gay chat room before this, and I, I got a lot of guys' names in my heads right now. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, like I said, it's that's pretty much it for today. We do a lo- uh, hour show, so we're pretty much out of time. But we want to thank again for Cricket coming on. Cricket, you were awesome. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Anytime, guys. Yeah, we definitely want to have you on again. That was a lot of fucking fun. Yeah, yeah you're... I, I can't believe it's already been an hour. Jeez. Yeah, yeah I know. you're the best. We, we're going to have to like do this again. Yeah, so that was amazing. And thanks to all your friends that came in and stuff like that. It means a lot to us. Like, we're just, we do, really don't know how else to get our name out here. So I think this helped a little bit. So we are you say two going to make out? Yeah. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> I will cut your dick off and wear it like a necklace. <laughs> so I made your show. Yeah, she did. Anytime that I can lean on somebody else to uh, make uh, entertaining content and we don't have to, I'm cool with it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. As Bill said, the power of cyanide. And anyone in here who doesn't know me and wants to follow me, I'm going to put a bunch of little black hearts up so you can see who I am. I share all the best scopes (laughs) and all the craziest shit. That's good. That sounds like us. That sounds like that's why we get along. Wow, Jay has a big dick then. (laughs) (laughs) Nope. That's that's why he's married. He he doesn't want to go to anyone else because his dick's small. <laughs> <laughs> I got her convinced that uh, three inches is a foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, and um, Cricket here says that she does uh, Periscope a lot too. So if you follow us on Twitter and everything, we're gonna you know share share her with everyone. That came out wrong. Phrasing. Sorry. <laughs> I, I like your beard, but it covers too much of your cheeks. Yeah, I gotta trim that shit. Uh, he looks like a Viking though. I like it. Yeah, if you ever seen, uh, if you ever seen uh, Evan Almighty, pretty much like I shave, and by the time I'm done shaving this side, this side's growing back. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the fucking Wolfman and shit. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Cricket. Oh, that Wolverine hit me in the fucking heart too, man. <sighs> oh, not I was heart. I, I literally like ugly snot cried for like five minutes after that. Movie I know, over. man. I like looked down at my chest. I'm like, what's that beating in my chest? Oh shit, it's my heart. I forgot I had. Holy fuck, God that movie. That movie hit me out of nowhere, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck, I know, I know. dude. I'm this sorry. Oh, love me. Oh, it was so good, dude. It was anyone that hasn't seen Logan, go watch it. Oh Jesus, it was. I jerked off with my own tears afterwards, but still, it was a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great movie. All right, guys. <laughs> That's about it. We're running way over time here. Uh, you can find us on OpenlyHostileOpinions.com. Uh, you got links to our YouTube. We're on Twitter, at Hostile Opinions. We're on uh, Facebook. We're on fucking whatever. <laughs> um, we we uh, we appreciate Cricket coming on here. Uh, 
please make sure to follow us on our little socials. And follow Cricket, too, please. Yeah, or follow I'll Cricket. fucking kill you. <laughs> type something, Cyanide. Type something, they say. So they want to follow yeah. you. I'm typing. 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 <laughs> I suck at typing on this iPhone. I fucking hate it. <laughs> all right. Well, there's there she is with them black hearts. So find her. Put your links in bio. All right. We're going to have to put our shit in a bio. We will do that. Uh, all right, guys. We will see you all next week. Same same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Have a good one. See you, Cricket. Have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> Later. Bye. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs> We are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you... Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>